What's up guys, so today I'm making a video on how much I pay for my Mustang Ikebus, how much is my payment, how much is my insurance, gas, and all the smokes that I put on. Stay tuned. So hit me with that bounce, baby. Everybody, thank you guys for coming back to my channel. I really appreciate that. Today, I'm making a video on how much do I pay for my Mustang EcoBoost. <laughs> All right, so this is a 2016 Mustang EcoBoost. It's a base model. I got this car in the Ford dealer in Fontana. Um, sticker price was at 20, 26, 27 around there. Um, I don't remember. It was around like 26, 27. Um, it was only by one owner. It was used and it had I want to say 40 40,000 miles on it So when I got the car, I didn't have any credit. So I had to get a co-signer So I asked my um, stepdad if he would help me out and co-sign my car because I had no credit So he did um, If I was gonna do it with my name, it was gonna be like a lot of money like there's it just ridiculous amount I mean, I don't have bad credit. That was back then when I had like no credit. I would just start my credit. So from the help of my stepdad, he helped me out to get it. So when I finished all the paperwork and all that stuff, it, it, we dropped the price all the way to 25,000. It's not that much, but I was just too excited to get the car and I was all hyped. So I got the car for 25,000 um, before the taxes and some other stuff they added. So in total, it came out around like 27,000 to me at that time it wasn't that much it was just like oh, I want the car so yeah so I got the car for 27,000 so I got the car for 60 months so the payment of the car I'm paying right now it's uh, $450 a month for five years which is 60 months and then also for gas what I'm paying right now I usually pay I usually fill it up every time I get paid every two weeks which is what I want to say like well right now because the gas is really cheap I want to say I'm paying around like $50 to get um yeah 50 so I'm paying around like $50 to fill up the car um it's a 15 gallon to fill it up um I put 91 my top three gas station has to be 76 Chevron and I want to say Shell also those are my free my top three favorite gas stations that I have to fill it up and of course I'm on 91 octane so don't never don't don't put 87 I know the people that put 87 at Arco I'm like bro do you know what you should do just get a water hose plug in to your car and turn it on <laughs> that's pretty much what you're doing to your car yeah Arco sucks guys don't don't put Arco here in California I don't know where you're so I know people from different states are they have different gas stations, but yeah, put put the good stuff. That way you could treat your car good and have no problems. So when I was getting my car, I did a down payment of just two thousand dollars. Um, kind of helped me not that much. It was just a couple of dollars that I took out from my monthly payment, but hey, anything helps. So if you're getting like a Mustang and you're not sure if you're getting an EcoBoost or a GT, and if you want to keep the price a little low under thirty thousand. Um, I would say like I, I would get a GT for me because I already had an EcoBoost so now I want to step up to a GT just how people go with like Hellcats they first they first start with RTs or uh, Scat Pack and then they go up to a uh, Hellcat but to me like if you want to start somewhere like small don't, don't want to just go like you know crazy with the GT or Shelby whatever I mean if you guys want to do that then go ahead like price list will be really high if you could afford it then go ahead but if you want to keep it you're in a budget you go to school or you know you're in just a tight budget right now because right now time is really hard and I know how you got to feel so if you guys in a budget I will say go with the EcoBoost these are just they're fun to drive um you could mod it put like over 100 horsepower if you guys want to do that if you guys interested in doing that then it's fun, but you of course you're gonna have to pay a little bit more for the modifications and the tunes, the new turbo, all that stuff, intercooler. But you know what? It's fun. So people are telling me, oh, I have a, I don't want to get EcoBoost. I would like get a GT. Then 
get the GT if you want to stick with the EcoBoost. I know a lot of people like the EcoBoost because it's gas, saves a lot of gas. So from all the mods that I put on, like the turbo, the blowout valve, intercooler, downpipe, charge pipe, um, mufflers, tires, tune, spoiler, I want to say everything, the grill, upgrade, I upgraded my grills. I want to say I spent around, I want to say about, in modification, around like six, seven, seven-ish, around there, 7,000. Um, but yeah, guys, if you guys don't want to go all crazy and, you know, just keep it eco, like EcoBoost and then just put a little uh, intake or something like that, you could do that and just keep it. You'll hear the blow up valve cool and sounds good. So my plans, I have three more years with this car. I passed two years already. So my plans, I wanna pay it off sooner. That way, I'm gonna keep it still for a while, a couple more years. And then I wanna upgrade to a GT or, you know, something different. Maybe a GT500. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. It's, those are too expensive for me right now. Maybe a GT350 or something like that, or you know, wh whatever is out there. But uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna, I just wanna pay it off, and then that way just keep it with no payments and keep it for a couple years, and then probably just trade it for a, for yeah, for a Shelby GT350, GT350R, or I don't know, we'll see, or Shelby 500. So the Shelby 500, that's really nice. I've been seeing videos and. Damn, the color, even the color looks so nice. So if you're in the market right now for looking for a Mustang EcoBoost, go for it. I would say just go for it. Test drive it first if you want to see how it feels. Step on it. But remember, you won't get the same sound if you take your mufflers off and make it sound nice. But if you just want to have just the EcoBoost like stock, then get it. It's fun. I'm telling you guys, it's fun to drive. All right, guys, so you made it at the end of this video. I just want to thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. All the videos, all the, all the likes, all the comments, and the subscribers. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me. Um, every time I see a new subscriber, I'm like, oh yeah, I get a new subscriber. I just want to thank all you guys so much for the likes, also the comments. People asking, hey, how do you do this? Or like, hey, you should do a video on this and that. Or hey, um what do you prefer on this and that and stuff like just random stuff and i like communicating with other people about cars and of course the mustang EcoBoost. and um if i have an answer or don't know i could ask you guys and back and forth you know what i mean so yeah guys i want to thank you guys a lot it means so much to me um i'm on the road to 1k so hopefully soon i'm not gonna stop i'm just gonna keep pushing pushing so thank you guys a lot I know this was a short video, but hey, it, it's raining outside right now. I'm in a parking structure. That's why I'm not outside where I'm usually at. I'm here and trying to stay safe with like, the coronavirus and stuff like that. <laughs> Just kidding. So I know I'm not wearing my mask, but whatever. Anyways, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much again, and I really appreciate that. So don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would really appreciate that. Leave some comments. I will comment back to you guys. And stay tuned because more videos are coming soon.